it's Amy and today first of all I did a childhood toys video right and there's one thing I did not put in the video which was my easy bake oven okay this easy bake oven is old I don't know if it still works right um, it might be dangerous I might burn down my house because it's from 2010 great love that and I got a recipe and this recipe is Easy Bake Oven Red Velvet and Strawberry Cakes Refill Mix. Um, this cost six freaking dollars. Six dollars? For this little toy thingy-majig, like recipe for children? But it cost a lot, and uh, I decided to splurge, right? And I got this. And this is like a Valentine's Day version. So anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, let's open this. Okay. Well, you know it's gonna be good when the packaging is just this beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. Brings back so many memories. Plug in Easy Bake Oven and turn on. Preheat for 20 minutes. I'm not good with time. Let's hope it's 20 minutes. Do we on? On? Oh, it turns on! I'm scared. Make red velvet. Pour one red velvet mix with four tea. I didn't do a whole bunch of things that I was supposed to do. Let's put this on the side and uh, follow the instructions. Ooh, look at that. That looks yummy. Look how yummy that looks. It doesn't smell that bad. Uh, four teaspoons. Two. Oh, it's red. Okay, this looks like really not good. <laughs> if too thick, add water. Why don't you just tell me if it's gonna be too thick? Is that too thick? It might be too thick. Let's add another teaspoon of water. Or half a teaspoon. That looks like a good consistency, right? Lightly spray baking pan with cooking spray. Do I have cooking spray? No. Do I have butter though? Yes. It's a good substitute, right? Spoon batter into baking pan, spread evenly. I don't think it's also good because it's red, so look at that. Look how delicious that looks. That looks so delicious. Is this good for the environment? There we go. Okay, I think that's good. I haven't waited Okay, that's not that hot. That's warm. So, I haven't waited the full 20 minutes. So, I'm just going to put it in right now. Place baking pan in baking slot as shown. That's what I did. Push pan pusher. So, this is the pan pusher. Like that. And then we push the pan. Stop when the baking line on the handle lines up with the bottom edge. That's not lined. Okay. Now, what? Guys, I think it's in. We did it. Oh, now we wait. Okay, so I have a timer right here for 16 seconds, 16 minutes. Haha, <laughs> I got you there. So, I'll see you in 16 minutes. There's nine minutes left, and it's kind of hot, and I'm kind of scared it's going to burn. And I know I need to wait, but I really want to see, you know? Okay, you know what? Let's push it. Okay, I'm scared. If it doesn't end up working, you can just put it back in, okay? There's not going to be a problem, right? Look at that! I'm going to put it back in, okay? Because it's not ready. It's not ready yet. It's not ready. So I'm kind of excited now because it doesn't look that bad. It didn't look that bad. Okay, so while this is cooking, still, we still have like five minutes, I'm going to do the strawberry because then we can just pop it in and then take a, you know, you know. Make strawberry cake batter, pour one of these, and then T5. Okay, so five instead of four. We got this, okay. Oh, it's naturally and artificially flavored. It smells like Nesquik powder, you know, Nesquik, like strawberry powder. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, um, where's my fork? Where's my fork? I'm gonna go grab my fork. It doesn't look that bad. I'm probably gonna add more water because it's probably gonna be too thick like the other one. 50 seconds. You know what? I'll take it early, out early because I don't want it to burn. Okay, I think it's... Oh no, okay, there we go. I thought it's stuck and then I was like, oh no, it's stuck. But it's not actually stuck, it's okay. So now we push, push. There we go. We take it out. Look at that. And it says to pop it out. I grabbed a plate and I grabbed a knife. It's literally not stuck to the edge. Okay, so let's flip it over and then 
Just pop it out. Oh my god. Just pop it out. Why is this so hard? I literally put butter so it doesn't stick. Ow, it's hot. I think this is okay. Okay. And then we flip it over. We flip it over. There we go. And I'm going to put a little more butter on. Okay. Even though it's still hot. We do this. I don't know. Okay. Okay. And now we spread it. Okay, we try to spread it as evenly as we can. Look, okay, I think that's more even than it was last time. We put it through here, okay, and then we push it in. And then we grab our other spatula, and then we push it in. Did I push it all the way? Oh no, I pushed it all the way in, I think. I pushed down the other side! Frick! Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's fine. It's fine, you know why? Because we can just push it through. Okay, we can grab it from the other side. Oh, you're not that hot. Okay, you're fine. Okay. Okay, and then we push it through. There we go. Okay, I think it's through. Okay, it's not here on this side. It's closed on the other side. We got it, guys. Now a timer for 16 minutes, okay? And go. Okay, so while the strawberry cake is cooking, we are going to be doing the frosting. And uh, to do the frosting, okay, we pour one vanilla frosting mix and then one and a half teaspoons of water and then... Why, why are the measuring so different? Why? Vanilla frosting, one and a half, okay? Pink frosting, one and a fourth, okay? So why? Why can't it just be the same? There we go. Wait, pour it in here. Okay, there's the vanilla. Oh, wow. Okay, they're literally the same color. Okay, they all share one, so I'll do that. One, and now this is where the, we the weird math comes in and a half for this one. Okay, and then a fourth. There's a fourth. I didn't grab a freaking fork. Okay, so the vanilla frosting literally turned into mochi. Um, it's, why is the frosting like this? I don't think it's supposed to be like that, so I'm gonna grab another teaspoon, okay? Another, like a fourth, okay? I grabbed a fourth teaspoon. It's not like you need the measurements. I don't know why I'm saying them. Okay. And there we go, okay? So there's, it's more like icing, okay? It has more of a, an icing consistency. We literally can't, I can't do this. My hands, why, why does this happen to me? Why does this, why does this happen to me? There we go. We have more of a consistency. Um, and that took me a very long time for no reason. It's real thick. It's like a freaking blizzard, okay? It's like, hi, welcome to Dairy King. Okay, here's your frosting. Let's try the strawberry, the, the, the pink frosting, because it, wait, so it says pink frosting. What flavor is pink frosting? Because I've never tasted pink before. I thought it was a color, not a flavor. Artificial, yummy, love that. Children eat this, like for their own enjoyment. Okay, so we can slice how we want to. We can do the one, two layer cake, which is just one. We can do the four, two layer cake bars, which is four cut, you know, it's four like that. Okay, you see that? No, I don't think so. But it's this, okay, it's four. You just do like the little columns, right? And then you do eight two layer cakes, which is the four columns, and then you split it in half, and that's eight. Or you can do a combination, which is two cake bars, where you cut it in two, and then you do the four cake squares, where you cut those, you do four, and then you just cut, like, so it's four, and then you do two, and then you put them off to the side, and then these two, you put it in in half, and that's four, so you have four and two. We can do that, or how do we want to do it? Or we can do three cake bars and one cake square. That could also work. I don't know, the combinations are endless, even though there is an amount of a combination we can do. Ooh, pretty, love that, oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, you can't see, but like it looks so good. It doesn't look I don't know what to do. 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 It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. I saved it. I am so proud of myself for not burning my house down. Okay, this didn't burn my house. Even though it's like, I don't know, 50 million years old. Yeah, you can do the math, right? Now we, I don't have a freaking knife. Oh my God.
this is your video, the first video you see me. Um, hi. Um, I'm Mamie. I am a very calm person. I don't get mad. I, uh, I'm not getting mad, definitely, of an easy bake oven made for eight-year-olds and up. That's definitely not something that's happening. Um, if you think that's happening, um, I think you're wrong. And now we get to frost. Okay, I'm going to flip it under. Uh, oh, okay. We got vanilla frosting. I'm going to put more water on it because I turned it into icing. It got real crunchy. And we don't want no crunchy. Here we go. So now we spread this evenly. Look at me being a professional icer, frostinger. I'm doing this goodly, because that's a word too. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was so not even. That was very not even. And now we flip it over. This has very like a Pop-Tart feeling, you know? Okay, there we go. And then we grab this. We pour it on. There we go. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. Wonderful. There's a lot of things that going that's going on in this cake right now. This side's more pretty, so I'm going to show this side. There we go. Okay, oh, I forgot I have sprinkles. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We can put some sprinkles. Confetti, sorry. This is not sprinkles. Is sprinkles like a trademark thing? Like, can you not say sprinkles? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this makes me sad. Look at that, what the heck? It's a half a heart. It's not even a heart. Okay, look how beautiful this is being. Okay, look how beautiful. Here we go. Okay, it fell on the floor, but that's okay. Look at the beauty, the grace. Honestly though, that doesn't look that bad, you know? The frosting really does cover it, um, mostly because it looks like fake food, okay? Uh, it really doesn't look real. Oh, look, there we go. We got focus. Okay, so this is my cake. It doesn't look that bad, okay? But, um, I'm scared to taste. <laughs> Ew! Wait, why does it have a skin? No! I don't like skin. That's not okay. Okay. So, a close up on the cake. Layers are pretty good. Um, cookness, it's cooked. So that's good. Um, now I'm gonna try it, so. This is, okay. Before I try it, this is one of the few things that I'm like not terrified about eating. Like, um, pasta was like one of the worst things I've ever eaten in my life. So I don't think it's gonna be that bad, okay? And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna try it. It's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad. It tastes artificially flavored and uh, fake and not good, but I'm surprised it's not that bad. So I'll give it like a seven out of 10, okay? It's pretty good for an easy bake oven. It's not like one of the best things that can come from an oven, but like it's pretty good considering it's from a child toy with a light bulb. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I would appreciate it if you did. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.